Business Lexington is made possible by the Keeneland Association, offering the finest in thoroughbred racing each April and October, along with auctions four times yearly in Lexington, Kentucky. Now in its 33rd year of operation, the Woodland Art Fair has become a mainstay in the Lexington art scene. With over 200 artists from all across the country exhibiting their works and nearly 60,000 visitors annually, the fair has a significant impact on our local economy. Christine Huskisson takes a closer look at this annual event as a viable market for both the patron of the arts and our local artists. The Woodland Art Fair has become not only a staple of the growing art scene in Lexington, Kentucky, but also a highly competitive juried exhibition that brings some of the finest jewelry, painting, wood, metal, ceramics, and photography to the region. But how does this affect our local artists and their community of supporters? I spoke with two artists about the fair, what it means to them, how they price their works, and just what that means for business. been in business for 27 years, weaving rugs. I started it as a hobby originally and it just gradually grew as my children grew and I now sell rugs all across the United States. I retail rugs as well as wholesale. In the Lexington market, my main outlet is the Woodland Arts Fair. I don't sell through any stores in Lexington, so uh, along with other artists that don't have a retail store, the Woodland Arts Fair is a very important venue for me to market my rugs. The Woodland Art Fair is where most of my business comes because people come by the booth and they see a lot of different styles of windows and then they, they say it would be just this is the kind of window they'd like to have, or this is the kind of colors that they would like to have. And uh, that's where I get about probably 75 to 80 percent of my business comes through referrals through the Woodland Art Fair. It's a wonderful festival, and uh, we're really glad to have the American Founders Bank sponsoring it. Well, American Founders Bank has been the title sponsor for the Woodland Art Fair for six years now. We believe that in each community that we're located in, we need to make sure that we're part of that community because we live and work in each of our communities. In Lexington, the AFB Woodland Art Fair is something that's very important to us. It's a very special event. I think that if you talk to anybody who's attended the Woodland Art Fair, you'll realize that they really enjoy it. 65,000 plus who attend the festival, so it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a great event to go out to or what the Woodland Art Fair uh, offers to uh, the artist and to the community, uh, it, it can't be underestimated or, or maybe overemphasized from the standpoint of economic development, the impact from the standpoint of tourism and, and opportunities for those artists to show their wares and actually sell their works. So it's really a win-win for the artist, for the community, for the bank in total. It's more exciting to buy a piece of work from an artist that you can meet and talk to and and see that they have made that with their own hands and they can tell you how they made it and tell you the materials that they use to make the their particular art or craft and how they learn how to do it and where they got their design inspiration and so you, you actually develop a relationship with the person who made the object that you're going to purchase and use in your home. Each piece of glass has to be cut individually, and then it's all put together like a jigsaw puzzle, quite honestly. And then it's all put together with pieces of lead, and then all the lead is soldered, and then all the solder has to be cemented to make it completely weatherproof. And then you have to attach reinforcing bar to that in order to keep the window solid for a hundred years. So even simple designs take a very long time and lots of hours of labor. If you really like a piece of art but you just can't afford that particular price, then offer a price that you really can. If you're just trying to get a bargain, if you're just trying to get something as cheap as you could find it at Home Depot or, or at Penny's, then please, please don't do that because the labor costs in the United States just can't compete with the labor costs in China or in the Caribbean where some of the stained glass is coming from. Lexington Art League, like a lot of other Kentucky arts and crafts organizations, as well as the exhibitors that participate in it, have worked 
hard over the years to reach the level of maturity and experience and success that they enjoy today. And they have extended their exhibitorship to include people from all over the United States. And so it is a highly jury competitive show. If I weren't an exhibitor at Woodland, I'd want to come just to see all the beautiful work. It's such an honor to be one of the people that's selected for that fair because they're so talented, such talented artists are there. Do you attend the Woodland Art Fair? Or has it just been a while? If so, now is the time to return. This summer, on Saturday and Sunday, August 16th and 17th, American Founders Bank, the Lexington Fayette Urban County Government's Division of Parks and Recreation, and the Lexington Art League invite you to come, enjoy the fun, and do your part to support our local economy. Covering arts and the economy for Business Lexington, I'm Chris Huskison.